uh, borderless, sustainable manufacturing. How should we design, build, and sell in the global post-meltdown world? And we're going to first hear from uh, David, and then from Joe. I'm sorry, David, and then Alan, and then Joe, and then myself. Okay? So we give you David. Hi, my name is David McPhail. I'm the president and CEO of Memex Automation. Um, I guess if I consider this question, I probably have two points to, to consider with uh, regards to achieving the objective. Uh, one of them is connectivity. Uh, you can't, if you can't measure it, you can't manage it. So uh, if you have plants all around the world, uh, you need to be able to see what's going on in those plants from a central location, whether it be head office or whatever. So my suggestion would be adopt some kind of harmonious network topology across all your plants so that you can connect all the assets on the shop floor and also the people that operate them in some manner to collect data, relevant data, I'll get to the data part in a second, to be able to uh, put this data into some form of, of database so that you can mine that data later in some kind of metric that makes sense. So connectivity, I think, is a big one. Uh, tools are, are relatively inexpensive with the uh, 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 Internet being very pervasive in most countries. Uh, and the software tools and the hardware tools are available today from a multitude of manufacturers. This isn't a real expensive uh, proposition, but it'll pay huge dividends. So that would be point one. Second point would be decide on some benchmark metric, some universal metric, and there's a bunch of them out there, OEE, TE, TEP, and on and on, lean uh, manufacturing principles, but decide on some metric and apply it across all your plants so that you can get a, a universal benchmark between your plants of, of what's going on. So now you have the connectivity in the shop floor, you have the universal metric. When you make continuous improvement, you can share that continuous improvement initiative across all your plants. So you're not having five, or say you had five plants, five individual continuous improvement initiatives across five different organizations. You can start to harmonize and share all that knowledge across all of your plants. And incremental change in one plant would affect incremental change in another plant, and it starts to build on itself. And really that's the, the two points that I have to make. Okay, I guess after my uh, presentation uh, a little while ago, you would expect me to say that the uh, key for borderless manufacturing would first start with borderless engineering. Important part 